World War II. The exploding bombs in Korea, the gold mines, they engaged the Chinese and North Koreans during the Korean War, and they fired more than double the amount of rounds than they fired in all of World War II against the Chinese and North Koreans. So, like I said, wherever there's an exploding bomb, that's where they engage the enemy in battle. Okay? And the gold and the red lines are the Cold War in the 80s. The ship got recommissioned in Pascagoula, Mississippi in 1984. So did it go to Europe also? Yes, from here. They looked. Red lines. Working with NATO forces. With, with, I was up here myself working with German, Norwegian forces, and also uh, British forces. Oh, wow. During the Cold War and also working with NATO exercises in the Med, in the Mediterranean. And so this ship, this, this pictorial you'll, you see here is about 25, 26 years of active duty. Damn. And it's been busy. That's impressive. Yeah. And the ship could be recalled to active duty by the year 2020. Wow. Just like you and me. And call <laughs> us back. What? This ship? Well, even the military. Yes, ma'am. So they would call this ship back on active duty? They could. Well, are they actually going to do it? I doubt it. Yeah. Simply because of this, money. <laughs> There's no more industry out here for making shells. Those shells you saw out there, they don't make them anymore. Oh. The biggest gun barrels ever put on an American warship, 16-inch 50 cows. They don't know, they don't make them anymore, and they don't know how to make them. Oh, wow. Are you sure? I'm sure. The armor you see on this ship, Class A, Class B, SDS armor, they don't know how to make that either. There's a lot of, remember, the ship is 76 years so who old. Was making them before? Oh. Companies back in 1940. What companies? Like a lot made? of different companies. So the companies don't exist anymore. A lot of them don't exist. Okay. At the end of World War II, they don't exist anymore. Okay? <laughs> All right.